Alright, today we are going to be testing the Gotham Steel Nonstick Pan. This pan is an 11 inch square frying pan, as seen on TV, made with titanium and ceramic, stronger than ever, no oil or butter needed apparently, PFOA free, S-A-N-S-P-F-O-A, whatever that means, and then a bunch of other mumbo jumbo down here that probably doesn't amount to much of anything. So before we get started, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna go ahead and make my prediction. I'm going to, I think that this pan is probably gonna work pretty good, but I don't think it's gonna be work as good as advertised because like in the commercial, they make it seem like there's just absolutely nothing that can stick to this pan. I don't think that's true. I think it's gonna be better than a non non-stick pan, but I don't think it's gonna be so non-stick that nothing sticks to it whatsoever. So let's get this. Really? It doesn't feel any different than a regular pan. Not that you would think that it would. So the first thing I wanna do is I just wanna pour a little water on it and see if the water sticks to the pan or if it bubbles up. Ooh, so the water looks like it does not stick to the pan. Just kind of, mm, it kind of just beads up. Like if you ever put uh, Rain-X on your windshield and whenever it rains, the water just bubbles up and just flies off the windshield and doesn't actually like stick to the windshield. Same kind of effect here. After the water passes by, it's not wet, doesn't stick. It does kind of spread out though. That's a good first sign. It at least has some type of coating on it that should help. So one of the things that I am really curious about is in the commercial, they show, they crack an egg on the, on the pan and they start cooking the egg. Supposedly the pan is so nonstick that after the egg, egg gets cooked a little bit, they're able, it like cooks the bottom of it and they're able to just, just turn the pan and the whole egg just slides right out of the pan onto a plate. I don't see any universe where that's gonna happen, but we're gonna see. So I have a hot plate here. Uh, we'll put it on medium. Then we'll crack an egg on here and we'll see if it sticks. So our pan is getting getting hot. Let's go ahead, crack this egg. That was, that was a horrible egg cracking job. Oh, why you, don't, don't go over there. Try to stay in the middle of the heat. I'm almost positive what's probably gonna happen is that this outside edge and the bottom is probably gonna burn or become close to burning and then the top is just gonna be all liquidy so whenever you try to go to like flip it or move it it's just not gonna work you can see this is already like starting to cook and already the edge is already starting to kind of curl up around here I guess I'm just gonna have to let this kind of just sit here and it looks like it's stuck to gonna get stuck to the pan to me this edge right here you can see is curling up. Over here it's not. I'm gonna let this go just a little bit longer and then I'm gonna use a spatula. I'm gonna see if maybe we can, maybe we can get a clean getaway. Maybe we can get up under it and flip it without it sticking to the pan at all. I don't know if that's gonna happen though. All right, now it's gotta be time to go in for the flip. Ooh, maybe not. Maybe I'm being impatient. Maybe if I just lift it up like this. Look at that. Oh, we got it away. Nothing stuck. Let's flip it over. This might actually end up being pretty good. All right, let's see how this thing's doing. Oh, look at that. I was literally able to just, just pick it up and peel it off. Huh. Flip it back over. It didn't really stick except for that, that little tiny piece right there. I mean, it, it didn't stick. It kind of works, but also in the commercial, they kind of showed it like sliding off the plate, which that's not gonna happen. So if we move it up to the top, you can see that it's not gonna, 
it's not gonna slide. It's just gonna like, well, it kind of slid a little bit, I guess. It won't, it doesn't do exactly what they did in the commercial because like I said in the commercial, they had the egg there and they just kind of like whoop and it just slid right off. Just like showing just how not, like how slick it was and all this stuff. That's not how it is in real life. But it, the, the egg doesn't stick to the pan. So, I mean, realistically, that's what we wanted. I don't think anybody in real life is at home cooking eggs up and they're like, whoop, trying to just like slide all the eggs right out of the pan. As long as it doesn't stick to the pan, that's good enough. I call that a win. So the pan passed the egg test, not like it did in the commercial, but to me, that's a pass. The next thing they show in the commercial is, I don't exactly know what it is, but they show the pan with some like, really like black tar looking stuff that's supposed to be like super sticky and it's like just all over the pan and then they like tilt the pan to the side and then it all just like runs right out of the pan. Like it's, I don't even know. They're just trying to show how non-stick it is with whatever substance they have in the pan. So since I don't really know like what that substance was, I'm just gonna do something that I think would be similar to that, which is I'm just gonna take some Coke and then pour it in the pan and just let it let all the water boil off so that way we're left with just like the the thick sticky syrup and see if that will just like run out of the pan like it did in the commercial i think that much should be enough put this on high and we'll come back when it's boiled off So after like probably 15 lifetimes of waiting for this stuff to boil down, it's not quite like as, it's not like down, it's not down to a syrup yet. It is very thick, but it's also hot right now. But I mean, as you can see, as of right now, whenever you like, whenever you tilt this pan, this syrup part right here, everything seems to kind of run off. Still not quite what they show in the commercial. I'm gonna let this go just a little, just maybe a couple more minutes. Let it get, let some more of the water get out, let it get a little bit thicker. I don't think it's gonna all run off like they showed in the commercial, but we'll see. All right, I think it's been long enough. I'm gonna turn that off. I'm gonna move this out of the way. And I'm gonna try to see if we can just do like they did in the commercial, tilt the pan and just let it, and everything is supposed to just run out. Except I'm going to do it kind of on the corner. Oh, I should be doing this this way so you can see it. I mean, like, yeah, it ran out. I don't think that is any different than it would have been with any other pan. Oh, dripping on the table. Great, that's just what I need. Mmm, that's on my thumb. That is burning me, that is hot. I mean, it kind of ran out of the pan, but it's not, it's not, it's not not sticking like it's supposed to. So I guess the, the like, tell me know what to call it, the sticky substance test, I guess that's kind of a fail. What I am curious of though, is I'm gonna let this cool down and then we're gonna try to wash it. And I wanna see how hard it is to get this off of this pan because it might not run out like it does in the commercial, but where it has that coating, it might be like significantly easier to clean than a regular pan. But we're gonna let it cool down and then we'll see. All right, the pan has cooled down. I know this is a weird angle, but it, the bucket's too tall and it, you wouldn't be able to see me. And this is the best I got right now. So I have this bucket of warm water. Well, actually it's kind of cold now. It was warm earlier. I don't have any soap in it or anything. I just wanna give it a shot just with water first and just see See if this stuff can just be scrubbed off or, or what, really. Oh, wow. Let's just stick this whole pan in here. 
I don't think this is going to come off as easy as I think I thought it would be. Oh, actually, that's coming off really easy. Let's do this stuff over here. So, like, okay. This pool of it, or whatever, right here, is really sticky, and, it, like, the sponge wants to get stuck to it real bad. Or actually make a liar out of me. Never mind. That seems to just come off of there quite easy. And then... You can, there's more of it kind of concentrated right there. You can just kind of wipe it right off. And then there's no sticky residue or anything left. I thought it was going to be really hard there for a minute, but once it kind of, once the water kind of soaks into it, it all just, just wipes away. That's no, that's not even soap. That's just water. I was going to say that this pie, I was thinking this pan pie wasn't going to be, be all that great, but Considering that it has that thick, sticky syrup on it, and just with a little bit of water, you can just scrub it all right off, and it comes off and with no residue, nothing. I don't even want to say it doesn't have the greatest non-stick surface, because like the egg didn't stick, the Coke wouldn't pour out like the commercial did, but that's, that's whatever. I think that about half of the benefit of this pan is going to be the cleaning. Because the cooking, obviously, it's not like, it's not going to be perfect. It's going to stick a little bit here and there. But the, the cleaning of it, I think, is going to be like half of the benefit. Because just like you saw, just a little bit of water, and you can just scrub it right off. And I, I mean, I obviously, I don't cook very much. But, or really at all. But I can't think of any food that you'd be cooking that is going to be stickier than, like, boiled down Coke syrup. Not, not even, I mean, not even maple syrup is going to be that sticky. So if, if that came off that easy, any food that you're going to cook in here is going to, whenever you clean it, it's going to come right off no problem. So far, I think this pan is actually really good. So, so far, this pan is doing pretty good. And as far as cooking with it is concerned, I'm sure it would be fine. And any type of food you're cooking is probably going to be, it's probably going to be non-stick enough that... It's not going to stick, and the cleanup is probably going to be easier than a regular pan, and it's, I'm sure it's going to be great for cooking. But we're not really too concerned here about cooking. We're more worried about the non-stick side of things. So we're going to use some stuff that's more sticky than what we've been using, and it's also going to be a flashback to the start of this channel. We have wood blocks and glue. So we're going right back to where this channel started. I have four different wood blocks. I have four different types of glue. What I want to do, obviously, is glue these wood blocks to this pan. And what I want to see is, if you t just take two wood blocks and you glue them together, whenever you rip them apart, it's not, it's never just like a clean break. So if you, if I was to take these and use wood glue and glue these things together, more than likely either wood from this block is going to end up on this block or vice versa. What I want to see is if I put glue on these blocks and then glue them to this nonstick pan, with every type of glue, whenever I break the blocks off, will the glue just completely peel away from the pan and then the pan be left unharmed? Will it chip the pan? Will it rip wood from the block and leave it stuck to the pan. I guess we're simultaneously also testing whether or not the glue will adhere to whatever type of surface this is. And also you guys have been asking me to put super glue on a nonstick pan for a while. So we're like killing three birds with one stone. So the glues that we're going to be using is of course, the first one is a Loctite super glue that you guys have been requesting. Also, we have to have flex glue because after all that is our favorite glue. And then we have two epoxies. One is a, this one is a quick setting epoxy that is supposed to cure in one hour. And then we have a, I guess just a regular epoxy that is supposed to cure in 15 to 24 hours. We will be letting all of these sit for 24 hours before we try to peel them off. Let's get these blocks stuck to the pan. The super glue one first. I'm really, I'm just gonna pile a pretty good amount of super glue onto it. Ah, that'll be all right. And we're gonna glue that in that corner. Next, let's go ahead and do the flex glue, which is also supposed to stick to any surface. So it should even stick to a non-stick surface. Then we have our two epoxies. We'll mix up just the classic JB Weld first. 
JB Weld, if you didn't know, is just equal parts from each bottle. And then this one, this quick drying epoxy, it's basically the same thing as the JB Weld. It's just, like I said, quick drying, and it's also clear. It also comes in this like dual syringe tube so that you automatically squeeze out equal parts. Oh, that was quite a bit. All right, let's start mixing this stuff up. All right, that's pretty good. Then we'll mix up this one. Put on the, the quick dry one first since it's obviously gonna dry quick. And then for this one, put it on there. All right, put this one here. All right, now I'm just gonna let these sit for 24 hours so they all have plenty of time to cure and we'll come back and we'll see, see what happens. All right, so it has been just a little bit over 24 hours. So all of these glues have had plenty of time to dry and cure. So let's see if they were able to stick to the pan. So we started, this is, uh, this is the super glue, flex glue, the clear epoxy, and then just the regular GB weld. So let's start with the super glue first, see if we can just, really? It literally didn't even stick to the pan at all. There's even a tiny bit of residue from the super glue, but if you just scratch your fingernail over it, it just peels right off. Whatever coating is on this pan, it's good enough that super glue wouldn't stick to it. So that's kind of surprising. I figured maybe it would like, I mean, I thought it was gonna stick, but I figured maybe it would be at least like a little, like a, or like something that, like a little pop or something, but no, it literally did not stick at all. Just the tiniest little bit of residue. Other than that, the coating is completely fine. So kind of surprising. Let's go on to the flex glue. Ooh. That flex glue seems like it's kind of stuck. I think the flex glue is like really stuck on there. Oh, we knocked off, we knocked off the JB Weld and you can see it's just, just completely smooth. Same thing as the super glue, just the tiniest little bit of residue right there. And now I just scratch it with my fingernail, it's completely gone absolutely could not stick to the non-stick coating. That, that's, this is actually more surprising than the flex glue. I figured the two-part epoxy would be like JB Weld. It welded itself to the pan pretty much, but it didn't stick whatsoever. So let's go on to this. The fast epoxy, the exact same thing. Did not stick whatsoever. Both of them are just completely smooth as glass. Did not stick at all. I guess the flex glue might be the only one that actually stuck. Let me get a hammer. So, <laughs> the flex glue it looks like it's gonna be the only one that was able to stick to the pan. Actually, I mean, I'm able to scrape it off and then it leaves, the, the pan is completely unharmed. Let me get a popsicle stick here. I mean, I don't, I'm not gonna take it every single little piece of it off. But you can see, even though the flux glue was able to stick to the pan, you can still just, I mean, with just the popsicle stick, be able to just scrape it right off. There's just a little bit of residue, but other than that, it's completely back to normal. Whatever kind of coating is on this pan is really, really good, especially for super glue and then two different types of industrial epoxies not to be able to not even stick hardly at all, especially since the super glue was like literally a small breeze what could have broke it free. And then these other two were maybe like five pounds of force it took to like separate them, which is pretty crazy. So my final thoughts on this pan, I think this pan is gonna be extremely good for as long as this nonstick coating lasts, which is the key, as long as the coating lasts. I don't know if like, maybe at two years from now, if the coating will eventually wash off or whatever. But as long as this coating is good, this nonstick pan is really good. Not 100% as advertised, but it is extremely nonstick. If there's anything else that you guys want to see me test, like this pan, leave a comment down below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.